okay you all are welcome to the lecture <clears throat> this is our paper buddhist <clears throat> culture in south asia mm. this is today topic ka mahinda gaman and the king devanam piyatissa period okay uh, mahinda gaman mean Arrival of uh, Mahamahinda Thera, Arhat Mahamahinda in Sri Lanka. Uh, uh, last week, okay, uh, you all got the note? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Uh, we learned that uh, <clears throat> with the contribution of uh, Maharaj Dharma Ashoka, uh, group of uh, missionaries were sent to the respective areas uh, as per the advice of Moggali Puttisa Maha Tero Maharant or uh, according to advice of uh, Moggali Puttisa Maha Tero uh, King Dharma Ashoka uh, he sent uh, <coughs> group of uh, monks and uh, yes, group of monks and some lay persons to those areas with uh, <coughs> the Dhamma missionary service. It also started uh, that Mahinda Tero was the main group selected to send Tambapanni or Sri Lanka island. We discussed yes. last time. Huh? Ashoka inscription ref uh, inscriptions refer to a member of uh, region south of uh, <clears throat> Ashoka uh, imperial limit. Uh, actually, in India, uh, South, in South India side, uh, there were uh, some areas. Choda, Pada. Have you heard? Gurovante, <laughs> Chola. <laughs> Chola, Pandya, and hmm. uh, Satyapur, uh, Satyaputra, Kerala Putra, in Kerala side. Hmm. Uh, Kerala. Now, it, Kerala is a famous name. Yes, Kerala. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And uh, Tambapanni. Uh, mm. Up to the Tambapanni. Uh, actually, some scholars say uh, there was another name, Tamralipta, in India. Okay, Tamralipta. It is a river. I think it's a river. Uh, someone says uh, the Tambapanni is that area. Someone says, but uh, according to chronicles, uh, they uh, the uh, most uh, lot of scholars says the Thamba, real Tambapanni is it is in Sri Lanka. Okay, the Tambapanni is Sri Lanka, not a part of India. No. Okay. Uh, because uh, the some missionary groups uh, went to uh, South India area, uh, therefore uh, there is uh, <clears throat> no uh, other group want to uh, go to that area. Therefore, uh, <clears throat> uh, Skola says the real Tambapanni is uh, Sri Lanka. The uh, reasons uh, why Maharaja Dharma Ashoka chose his own son to send to Sri Lanka can be uh, considered according to the uh, facts shown in some reports. Okay, uh, Some reports mean some chronicles uh, says uh, King uh, Dharma Ashoka, why did the king send his own son Mahamahinda Thera okay, to Sri Lanka? Uh, the some reports or some chronicles says King Ashoka, King Devanam Pitisan, uh, Nikto the Samanera were born as brothers in a past life or previous lives. Mm. Okay, mean uh, last uh, uh, birth they were brothers. Okay, I mentioned it in your note. Huh? Mm. Uh, <clears throat> Okay, they were uh, the brothers, and uh, they uh, sell. Uh, they uh, they work. Uh, they did some uh, 
sorry, uh, they work as uh, traders. Okay, they sell in uh, honey, bee honeys. Okay, and uh, they uh, were brothers. They are for in uh, this life also. Uh, there was a connection between them. Okay, new new connection. Now, uh, it is seen. In family stories, that Mahinda Tero checked the right time uh, before going to Sri Lanka in the twelfth uh, year of the Upasampada or higher ordination. Ah, uh, Mahamahinda Tera, uh, the son of King Ashoka, uh, he had the duty to uh, come to Sri Lanka, but uh, <clears throat> Mahamahinda Tera uh, get some time. to come to sri lanka because uh, at that time uh, in sri lanka there was a king king mutasiva i mentioned it on your note ah huh? mm. king mutasiva but at that time he was a very old king king mutasiva okay suppose now uh, why uh, did mahamahinda tera come to sri lanka he want to establish the buddhism okay yes he want to establish buddhism buddhism to buddhism in sri lanka but yes. if there is a old king he cannot understand anything okay okay in uh, like uh, if there is uh, old president in a country Uh, they cannot get any correct decision and they cannot understand something okay mm -hmm. therefore there is a trouble uh, to establish buddhism therefore mahinda tera uh, left uh, ashoka ram in patliputra along with uh, ittiya uttiya sambala baddasara teras and sumana samanera uh, visitors uh, visited the Kinagiri, Dakshinagiri, and came to Vedisagiri after six months. Okay, they were six months in Vedisagiri. Vedisagiri uh, area, uh, his mother's area. Okay, uh, King Ashoka had uh, many wives. You remember why all the kings had lot of wives? No, we don't know. Can you? Man, someone says, yeah. uh, they, uh, they, uh, they have uh, the sexual addiction. Someone says, but <laughs> this, it is a method, da. Huh? Hmm. Suppose uh, the the all the all the kings, ah, in all around the world, the all the kings in Sri Lanka also same situation. the kings uh, had the kings had many wives because uh, suppose uh, in india uh, the the king was in delhi area in uh, delhi area there was a king uh, he uh, has wives uh, sorry uh, he bring some wives from Uh, other areas in south india and madras and uh, yeah kerala and all the areas okay mm. now all these area they are really they, they are is a relationship okay it's mean all, all the all our neighbors or nephews mm. the that area is suppose uh, in south india side there is a wife Ah, uh, that that area people they thought the king is our nephew. Hmm. Okay, they they never attached to the king because he he is our nephew. Okay. Okay, our kinsman, king is our kinsman. They are for they never attached to the king. They are for earlier the lot of kings they um, uh, had many wives. Okay. uh <clears throat> they are for king dharma ashok also had many wives uh, one from vedisagiri and uh, venerable mahinda tera uh, the son of vedisa 
lady. Okay. King uh, Devanam Pitisa was the second of the ten sons of King Mutasiva. Ah. Uh, now, uh, Mahamayantera in still he is in uh, Vedisagiri area. Uh, in Sri Lanka at that time, King, uh, king was the Mutasiva king. Uh, he had ten sons. Okay. The second one is Devanampia Tissa. Actually, his name is Tissa. Mm. Devanampia, uh, it is another part. Uh, it come from the uh, King Dharma Shoka. Okay. He also used this part. Mm. Devanampia. It's mean uh, to uh, uh, related to the god. Devanampia mean uh, they like to the god. Mm. Okay. It is a part. Okay, the name. So this, uh, so the, oh, my dog. Now he is in my room. So they, I mean, <laughs> don't get upset, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Now it is sleeping. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Outside there was rain. Therefore yeah. he you know, it came to my room. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, King uh, Mutasiva had ten sons. Uh, uh, the second son is uh, Tis. Okay. After that he became Devanampi Tis. Uh, I will mention it. Huh? He became a king when he grew up with uh, merit and intelligence. Uh, uh, because in Sri Lanka, the royalty or the kingship come uh, father to elder son. Elder mm. son, but this is the second one. Second son, but he uh, was an intelligent person, therefore he got the kingship. Okay. Uh, Genealogy says that with his first uh, consecration, a great miracle appeared. Uh, with his uh, consecration, uh, there were some uh, miracles things. It is mentioned that uh, at the uh, foot of the Jata Pabbata, it is an area, it's a mountain area, which is uh, about two and a half miles away from Anuradhapura. Uh, the Anuradhapura was the capital at that time. Uh, towards the uh, southeast, three wonderful uh, visions named Latayasti, Sakunayasti, and Sakunayasti. Kusumayasti and Sakunayasti, three wands. Can you see the wand? There is a image. No? Wands. Image. Oh. This is the symbol of the kingship at that time. Okay. Okay. Every king has like stick like this. Okay. Yes. Wands mm. appeared in uh, lime bush uh, and. Uh, Navadarum Ratna. It's mean nine gems. Gems. Nine gems was gathered in head. Ah, uh, there were three wands and some gems. Okay, nine gems. Uh, the scholars, sorry, uh, the, some chronicles uh, says uh, there were. Uh, <clears throat> the, some wounds and gems uh, uh, automatically come uh, out of the earth. King Tissa sent uh, the treasure 
uh, the appeared in this way to his unseen friend king dharma ashok ah at that time the this uh, prince this uh, he had the connection with dharma ashok but he had never seen okay both of them never seen but they had some uh, connection between them which mean uh, some uh, message some message sent uh, by some uh, persons or some ministers uh, they had uh, uh, some relationship the leaders of uh, delegation were given suitable title and honors uh, and king this uh, prepare the royal kakud uh, uh, regalia uh, treasure for the uh, consecration and send the uh, envoys back with great difficulty uh, actually uh, king sorry uh, this is yes, king this sent uh, those treasures it means some gems and some bones uh, but uh, and uh, king dharma ashoka uh, accepted those treasures and uh, he offered uh, some regalias kakudu mean uh, the items for the uh, kingship some items maybe uh, some crown okay uh, and other materials related to kingship uh, and uh, at the same time he sent the dhamma message to king this that he had taken teruvan triple j okay i now I, I i am a buddhist okay i uh, got teruvan buddha dhamma sangha and hope that his friend also ratnatre also same uh, triple j uh, would also take uh, uh, the king dharma ashoka says now i am uh, under the buddhist or buddhism you also try to be a buddhist did you get the point yes yes can you hear yes Bhante. yes Bhante, we can hear ah. did you get the point yes yes, yes. Okay. the king who received the dhamma message was uh, extremely happy about his unseen friend king tissa uh he received the dhamma message and uh, he was happy uh, on the full moon poe day of the month of vesak okay vesak moon full moon poe day the mayura system again received the second abhishek ah uh, mean coronation ah uh, he became a king again in second time king this okay ah uh, which system mayura system whose system mayura system king dharma ashoka system because therefore he uh, sent some uh, royal items mm -hmm. the crown and other everything he sent and he <clears throat> the king this uh, with those items uh, he became a king a second time in visak poya day uh, along with this uh, uh, consecration a king this also received the uh, honorific title of devanam peer ah uh, this is a, a part of title devanam peer which i said earlier which uh, his unseen friend used with uh, respect uh, uh, <clears throat> at that time uh, king ashoka uh, gave this title for his unseen friend devanam peer this is the uh, some items for the kingship but it is not in sri lanka mm. it is uh, uh, uk okay. have you seen <laughs> mm. queen elizabeth mm. used this. Mm. i think now it used uh, who's king charles huh? mm. king charles king charles yes now Okay. Although it was uh, sometimes considered as a title limited uh, only to King Dharma Ashoka, it was also a title of honor used by his uh, successors. 
uh, someone says uh, this title used only uh, king uh, dharma shoka uh, in india but some scholar says some evidence says uh, there were uh, some other kings also uh, has used this title devanampiya title after the king dharma shoka it is mentioned in uh, the family story sorry familiar story that after the second abhishek or coronation the king ordered water sport for the poson moon full moon poe day country duelan uh, <clears throat> escorted the army to missaka power which mean mihin tale po hanti uh, uh, king uh, devanam piyatis uh, uh, after his Uh, king ship coronation uh, he told to the um, sri lankan peoples please you can start water sport in some sports with water and the king went to the hunting uh, it is a game earlier hunting is a game uh, mm. he went to mihintale or missaka power Have you heard Mihintale name? Yes. Yes. We, yes. Earlier we discussed. Mm. The king was uh, chasing after a deer, and so Mahinda Tero, who called him from the top of mount. Ah, uh, in Mihintale, uh, there is a big mountain, uh, <coughs> top mountain actually. Uh, top of mountain, uh, King Devanam. Sorry. Uh, venerable mahinda tero called him after a short series of question and answer mahinda tero who realized the king ability to understand his doctrine uh, preached the chulla hatti padopama sutra chulla hatti padopama sutra have you heard this name yes chulla hatti padopama sutra this is the first sutra uh, venerable maha mahinda tero preached in sri lanka okay chulla hatti padom after the uh, departure of the king uh, mahinda tero ordained banduka upasaka at the top of mehintale uh, mount okay he ordained banduka upasaka okay he brought some upasakas o lay person why venerable mahamahind why did venerable mahamahind tero bring brought uh, bring some uh, lay person to ordain because uh, suppose uh, if uh, if someone says uh, to us uh, there is a new religion okay you can uh, enter the new religion if someone says to us we never go to that religion directly because we are afraid i think you also same <laughs> if someone says yeah it's a good religion you can enter the religion you can uh, ordain and you can become a monk like that but in, in sri lankan people they haven't seen any monk earlier okay therefore they don't know what is the monk or monk life therefore venerable uh, mahamahind tero brought uh, one lay person and uh, he ordained in sri lanka and he showed he showed uh, what is the uh, ode okay uh, this was the first ordination work in sri lanka banduka upasaka here after preaching the petavattu to uh, comfort the public or peoples the vimanavattu to comfort them and the satcha sangyutta to achieve nirvana o nibbana many people accepted buddhism and took triple jam uh, uh, after preach uh, those vimanavattu petavattu and satcha sangyutta uh, the people understood uh, what is this um, religion and they became buddhist on the second day the king took a golden pole flow and uh, instructed by mahinda tero and marked the 
boundaries of uh, great temple mahavihara okay uh, in anuradhapur area there is a very big area okay uh, it is a, a group of temples ah uh, into the entire capital ah uh, in anuradhapur area he marked the boundaries uh, to build uh, future buildings okay future buildings and uh, temples all these things in the few days uh, that passed after that there was a great uh, excitement about buddhism among the people of country uh, some ordained at that now <clears throat> gradually developed buddhism in sri lanka was established 500 women uh, with by anula meheshi observed seal to set out became priest or nuns uh, they observed seal to um, became nuns mahinda thero uh, declared that was a wasana or rain season after that uh, after person poe day uh, next uh, poe day was uh, rain season start uh, at that time uh, venerable mahamahinda thera uh, told to the king uh, now uh, we have to uh, protect wasana uh, fixa Uh, in wasan rule okay therefore they came again to mihintali here in this sermon uh, prince uh, maharitta who was the king got permission from the king became a monk with uh, 55 others ah. at that time uh, maharitta prince maharitta he uh, became a monk with other five Uh, 55 persons uh, at this time there were 62 monks priest or monk uh, the caves at the uh, kantaka chetiya place in mihintale were purified and prepared for these monks for the first vas or rainy season although uh, 68 caves are mentioned in the chronicles 62 caves were required actually uh, in uh, chronicles they mention there were uh, 68 caves purified but they required uh, 62 caves the monks led by mihintale uh, sorry uh, by mahind uh, tero uh, thus uh, spent the first was a uh, rainy season Uh, in the mintale caves you do see the mintale rock yes bhanti no uh, have you seen earlier no no, no we can pick the mintale uh, mahamahinda tera uh, came was top of this rock hmm? uh, actually now also we can uh, visit uh, top of this rock ka huh? okay uh, Uh, uh the king uh, went uh, hunting uh, this area okay okay uh, mahamahinda tera and other the group of uh, monks and other lay person was uh, top of this mountain and he called to the king from top of this mountain it's a mihintal area actually this is a very uh, beautiful area in sri lanka uh when you visit sri lanka <laughs> whenever mm. uh, please try to uh, climb this mountain <laughs> mihintali okay anuradhapur area the king now needed the physical relic pagoda uh, to worship the uh, mahinda tero uh, who came to the city after the uh, extreme mind the ro told now we need the pagoda uh, <clears throat> uh, therefore we have to bring uh, some relics of buddha according the king sent the sumana samanera 
to uh, king dharma shoka to fetch the relics uh, sumana samanera uh, went again to india uh, to bring some relics and uh, they came again to sri lanka with some relics uh, and he uh, they made they built a pagoda uh, which was the first Uh, appeared in Sri Lanka in first pagoda later became known as Thupa Rame. The Thupa Rame is the first pagoda in Sri Lanka. It has been mentioned in the uh, beginning that uh, delegation was sent in uh, Pascal or rain season to take care of the Bodhi branch. Uh, actually, uh, Bodhi branch also uh, now. they wanted to bring to sri lanka after the rainy season uh, the leader of uh, this group was prince named maharit who was a uh, navig mm. of the king uh, actually there was a one arit uh, earlier we mentioned he was ode okay he also uh, one of uh, minister or navig of the king but Uh, this is another person okay he also uh, is uh, one of navy of the king he went to india to bring bodhi branch empire dharma shoka uh, who went to the bodhi uh, in a great person uh, to get the bodhi branch to send sri lanka uh, acted on the advice of uh, minister mahadev and took the southern branch of jay shri mahabodhi and established in a golden column so, minister mahadeva uh, who works in india under the empire dharma shoka uh, he arranged the bodhi branch uh, then the king came to tamralipta uh, and boarded uh, bodhi and sangamitta theri uh, his daughter king's daughter sangamitta theri uh, along with uh, other people eight uh, brothers of vedisa devi vedisa mean uh, maha mahinda ter and king uh, sorry uh, sangamitta theri's mother okay uh, empire dharma shokas one of wives and a group of uh, eight caste uh, residents uh, required for the sacrifice uh, to be made to bodhi uh, there were 18 caste sent to sri lanka to protect the bodhi tree king devanampitis went to sorry uh, just went there in the garden uh, prosin and received sangamitta uh, Theri or Mahinia, with respect, and took the Bodhi branch and Nandradhapura and planted it in Mahameuna Garden. We discussed what is Mahameuna Garden. Uh, Mahamahinda Thera uh, marked earlier borders, the one of garden Mahameuna under the uh, auspices of Rahena in uh, Uduap full moon for a day. Uh, Rahena. auspicious type in sri lanka uh, the, uh, they the people of sri lanka they believe uh, auspicious time okay i don't know what about other countries in sri lanka they highly believe uh, auspicious time <laughs> every work start with auspicious yes uh uh actually for the uh, bodhi plant in ceremony uh, other uh, areas of sri lanka person came uh, meanwhile there were uh, tiwakka brahmana who lived in the village of tiwakka in north and sastri of chandanagama in south and kachragama in the south uh, those people came to the ceremony of the bodhi plant uh these people uh, received one of the eight plants that grow from the uh 
fruit of the bodhi branch uh, took them to their uh, respective colonies planted them and held great sacrifice uh, the person uh, the other areas of sri lanka they came to the uh, ceremony and they got some other branches of this bodhi they uh, brought those branches to uh, their colonies so they are areas this can be considered as a sign that buddhism spread in these areas uh, this is a sign or mark uh, which buddhism was established in sri lanka all the areas the group of women including anula devi who were waiting for ordination uh, at that time was ordained by sangamitta teri o mehini o nan this is uh, how main sasnonans order started in sri lanka uh, the first uh, sri lankan uh, lady anula devi uh, lady anula uh, she was ordained okay uh, by sangamitta teri it seems that for these people and upasara uh, men hattalak uh, mehinoru nans temple were made in the city ah uh, and they are uh, some nuns in sri lanka now uh, they are for the king uh, made uh, built some uh, nuns temple uh, like upasikara men hattalak mehinavara those are the nuns temple names this is sri lankan nuns ah Mm-hmm. but this picture is not sri lankan nuns <laughs> i think it's vietnam or thailand myanmar i think myanmar mm-hmm. ah yes yes maybe maybe no this uh, color uh, myanmar mm-hmm. ah, maybe maybe because sri lankan nuns uh, never use this color uh, they use only this color but i added this picture it's very beautiful therefore i added <laughs> <laughs> okay it is said that uh genealogies that the first single is maha astavira uh, venerable aritta uh, thera and maha mahinda thera sat in the same uh, seat with mahinda thero in uh, front of the uh, sangha of monk gathered at tuparam the first pagoda in sri lanka that area uh set the same seat venerable mahamahinda thera and venerable aritta mahathero and after doing sangayana just council they held a council uh, after that the buddha took root sorry yes buddha took root here it mean buddhism established in sri lanka it's a sign sri mahabodhi and also Uh, built uh, temples such as uh, mahavihara uh, tuparame chetiyagiri isrumuni ya uh, vessagiri vihara uh, dambakola patuna vihara in uh, nagadipa in uh, north side in sri lanka and tissamaharama prachira vihara those uh, temples okay uh, built by uh, king devanampiya this okay the death of king devanampitis who played a great role in the development of order was sri lanka uh, uh, happened in uh, 210 bc okay uh, he was death at that at time the mahindagamana Uh, mean arrival of mahamain thera to sri lanka was a uh, extremely uh, important historical event in sri lanka uh, because uh, <clears throat> it's the uh, now uh, they have they have uh, some believes in sri lanka the buddha had uh, arrived sri lanka three times okay but mm, the buddhist uh, sasana buddhist order did not established in sri lanka 
therefore the arrival of mahamahinda tera it's very important uh, we use uh, the title for him uh, second buddha okay second buddha in sri lanka because uh, he was the tera uh, which uh, who established buddhism in sri lanka okay therefore it's very important uh, event or historical event near stopa rajagala in digamandulla uh, there is a uh, inscription uh, in uh, brahman script belongs to the second century uh, mentioned the uh, teras mahamahinda o and ittiya with respect uh, in this inscription uh, has mentioned uh, venerable mahamahinda and ittiya teras Uh, this can be considered as the oldest document written after the death of uh, a poet moreover uh, by the first uh, century ad or oh, an inscription on uh, this area this earth, the archaeologists believe uh, <coughs> may date a uh, date back to the First century AD. This is the inscription, ne? Right? Yes, mm -hmm. uh, another inscription. Barali panaha korava mahinda tera cha badhasala tera cha itika tera cha uti tera cha patamaha karapita. Actually, this is a. Uh, This is a mihin tale area, okay? okay? Those are the inscription. Can you see? Yes. Yes. Actually, it's a very beautiful inscription, na? Right? It's mm. a, a close-up uh, picture in up, yes. upside. Mm. And those are actually uh, it's a very beautiful inscription I have ever seen in Sri Lanka. Mm. Okay, it's a very creative, very beautiful. It's mentioned about Mahamahinda Tera and Badhasala Teras, a strong uh, craving at the eastern entrance of uh, Sanji. Okay, has uh, carved a temple and Perahara or uh, person uh, beside the Sri Mahabodhi at uh, Bodhi Gaya and the Uh, an image of king sitting on the back of a uh, dwarf on right the temple shown in the first part of the uh, engraving has been uh, identified as a temple built by the king dharma ashoka of bodhi gaya the person uh, that went to obtain the bodhi branch and the king as king dharma show uh, uh, there was uh, some i'll show this is this picture it is in sanchi in india okay it's a craving is carving uh, it is uh, shown a perahara or person uh, the scholar says uh, it is uh, uh, the perahara Uh, which is uh, bodhi branch sent to sri lanka uh, the upper edge of the craving the bodhi plant uh, planted in the uh, small pot hmm? uh, on the left is a city it is a thought that the bodhi plant in small uh, is the southern branch of the sri mahabodhi which was uh, dedicated to bring to sri lanka and the city make be anuradhapura uh, someone says uh, this uh, the city was the anuradhapura city it is clear that uh, the uh, friendly and cultural relationship between sri lanka and uh, empire ashoka uh, produced good result to sri lanka this influence can be uh, clearly seen in the field of uh, architecture uh, 
sculpture, craving, uh, painting, and city design in Sri Lanka. Uh, the emergence of uh, Buddhist education uh, system uh, maintained the tradition of Tripitaka, Upali Canon, and uh, mythology through uh, recitation, the emergence of, uh, emergence of Sri Lankan literature, the Sinhala literature, uh, based on the uh, Helatua, Sri Lankan commentaries. Okay, There were many commentaries in Sri Lanka and the emergence of uh, Sinhala script. Actually, in Sri Lanka, they were not uh, proper uh, script okay, or alphabet. Uh, it's also um, created with uh, Brahmi script. For the result of uh, a formation, a friendship between uh, Devanampitis and Empire Ashoka. Uh, this is the uh, another lesson of arrival of uh, Buddhism in Sri Lanka. Actually, we have another one or two topic uh, with Sri Lanka. Uh, then um, we can finish one topic of this syllabus. Okay. Uh, actually, there were many evidence uh, with Sri Lankan uh, Buddhism. Mm -hmm. Establishing Buddhism in Sri Lanka, they are for these lessons very long. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> uh, but uh, we can study it very easily. Uh, <clears throat> I will send this presentation to you, and uh, you can refer my presentation. Uh, I think it's better than the note. Okay, uh, this note is very <laughs> long not okay any question no bante uh, is it clear yes or is it boring no, no. Uh, but, okay, I, excuse me i have a uh, one question yes ah uh, excuse me uh, brahmi script is uh, in all indian script brahmin script Yes, yes. It's a, is it the Indian script? Yes, yes. Brahmin oh. script. Uh, because uh, King Dharma Shok also has used Brahmin script. Mm. Okay. Yes, I, I Brahmin script uh, to uh, build his pillars also. Ah, yes. His inscription, Asoka okay. pillars or Asoka inscription. Mm -hmm. He used uh, this script. Oh, Brahmin script. Okay. okay. Yes, thank you very much. Okay. Uh, I think that's enough for today. <laughs> okay, I will send this uh, presentation and please uh, share it, Mr. Rahul. And okay. we'll meet again next week. Okay. Yes, thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.